Yeah, um, disappointing. Uh, you know, it's just not. I, I feel like for the most part, it's just not who we are. Uh, we didn't start the game with any sense of urgency. We didn't um, didn't do the things we talked about from the first minute. Uh, obviously, conceding as quickly as we did and in quick succession is gonna change the course of the game a lot. Changes uh, you know our mentality a little bit, and um, it was hard to recover from that. But uh, yeah, biggest disappointment is is the way we started the game, the way we approached. First couple of minutes, just sloppy, uh, you know, kind of inexcusable. A lot of mistakes and a lot of compounded mistakes. Yeah, it, it is hard to put a put a finger on it. Um, I, I felt like our buildouts from the start, uh, we weren't getting out cleanly. Um, you know, we, we we struggled from goal kicks from from set buildouts to to kind of break that first line and generate any sort of momentum and attack to 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 start anything that you know makes us dangerous. Um, our back three getting past their front two and front three to be able to get into the second, third, and final third didn't really happen in, in much of the first 15 and, and even the first half. And uh, on the other side, I felt like our our pressure, uh, it, the way we matched up a bit against a back five was a little disjointed um, from the front. I didn't feel like we kept it to one side when it did go there to be able to, to lock it in and, and press them into into making decisions quicker than they want to, wanted to. Um, and then after that, I mean, it, I'd have to look back at each of the individual goals, but I, I think you know, we could watch it as a team, and we'd probably have half the room raise their hand and say, like, could have done something here. And it, and that kind of felt like it was one of those nights. Um, things were going our way, and, and uh, that does happen sometimes. Obviously, we it hasn't happened for how many games in a row here. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that answers the question, but it, it felt like a lot of things for sure. Anthony's been good. Um, you know, I think obviously that that first appearance and first start is the hardest. Uh, Open Cup, he did well. He looked confident. He was he was strong. He, I mean, that's that's the hardest thing to to teach and to and to tell a kid that that makes his first appearance and first start is to is to be confident, ha- be composed, look look comfortable. It's all of that stuff is second nature, and it happens whether you have it or you know it just it happens in the game and. And, and, and that's what makes you a good player, and he's got that. So, you know, from the moment, you know, we've seen him train for a long time now, but from the moment that people saw him make his first appearance, and, and obviously um, last week uh, he was great. Um, again, tonight isn't a, an awesome uh, picture to, to look at for anyone or, um, you know, to look back on, but, um, you know, I'm not worried about him. He, he, he looked good again. Going into the game, we felt like our, our three center backs um, could pretty much have a 3v2 with their – their front two, their two forwards. Um, we felt like if, if me and Anthony kind of took our wing backs away, we were only really just crowding it, and we felt like we could play the 3v2. They ended up kind of having a midfielder press as, as a, almost a three. That didn't match up with us great. Um, and the thing about soccer is, uh, there, you know, there's no timeouts. There's no there's no thing. There's no stoppage of play to solve things. You kind of have to do all that on the fly. you got to make eye contact, nonverbal stuff, and, and we have to solve it. And... Um, again, uh, tonight was one of those nights, and we didn't do a good job of that uh, at, at all, really. Um, you know, the second half was a little bit better. There's a little more rhythm, a little more fluidity to it. But, um, yeah, I, a lot of our issues I felt like started with that. You know, we couldn't really get into a rhythm, and um, and like I said, we didn't really fix it through the first half. Oh, I'd love to burn it, but um, we'll, we'll probably look at it. I mean, there's always – there's parts of every game to, to look at and to learn from, and um, – Believe it or not, there probably were some good moments tonight too. You know, we can we can still look back and say, look, if we are disciplined, if we do get into the right spots, if we do things the right way, we cause teams problems. But um, yeah, there's there's still things to look at that that are also you know good for us to see. And obviously, they're not going to be fun to watch, but they're good to see just so we don't make the same same mistakes twice and um, and have the same problems going forward. Um, it's it's tough to solve. It's um, it's something we did really really well last year. Uh, Man, I wish I could. I could tell you. I wish I knew. Um, and I wish we knew. But um, I don't know. I, tonight, it, it just felt like you know one of the things we do best, and, and Robin talks about all the time, and, and we talk about inside the locker room is the character, the group, and, and the way that we all show up and work for each other. The the things that aren't really asked of of professional athletes. You show up. You work hard. You do the things that are that are that you can control. I mean, it might not be technically clean every single game might not make the perfect play with the ball every game but at least we can sprint and work hard and and get after people and that sense of urgency wasn't there tonight and I think all of us would agree with that it's not I don't feel good saying it but um, I felt like across the board nobody really looked I don't know after it and and really uh, fired up which again it's it's kind of inexcusable and and tough to admit but 
I, I think it starts with that. I think we got we got to show up every game, and we got to. Um, we're the type of team that has to has to put the, those things first, and then you know our quality will come out after that. I think you know our, our playing ability will come out after that, but uh, that comes first for sure. Yeah, the fans have been awesome. Uh, I actually said before the walkout today, um, the attendance has been great this year. Uh, you know, it, it's it's really rewarding for us after having such a good year last year to see kind of the the attendance almost feel like a response to our success. And um, not that they didn't come out last year, but I mean, they, they've been, <laughs> I haven't been here that long, but I feel like the fans have been here kind of through thick and thin. And we didn't have a great year at 19 when I first came here, but I mean, people still show up, uh, you know, kids still show up. They're still happy to see us. They're still, you know, dying for us to, to, to see them after the game. So, um, and even through 2020 when we had nobody in the stands because we couldn't, uh, it, it really made it clear how important the, the people are to us and, and, and how cool our job is. And, um, yeah, just, I mean, I'm so thankful. Uh, yeah, that's really the only way I can say it. But um, really bummed that, that we couldn't do much, you know, much better tonight. But um, I didn't feel like the stand, the, the the stands even empty tonight after whatever it was, three goals in 17 minutes. Um, and and we, you know, we, we did try to be to be fair. We got one back in, in almost two. But um, that, that that's a testament to them. They're they're always there and. I feel like they always will be no matter, um, you know, the ups and downs we experience in the game or, or through the season.